Hi there and uh, welcome to Technique Tuesday. I wanted to break down chord inversions. I had that question uh, come up on the forum. And basically I want to talk about two ways to move chords around. Um, one way is to move them this way on the neck. So for example, if we take A major, okay, and I'm just going to take the, the first three strings. By moving the note on the first string down an octave and over three strings, we get another version of A. Okay. Continue that process, take the second string, which is a C sharp, and move it down an octave and over three strings. We get the first inversion of A. And then take the A, which is now the top note, and move it down an octave. We get the root position A. And interestingly enough, we started with a root position, second inversion, first inversion, and we end with a root position. Or you can do that with any chord. You know, we could take D major and move it. We could take G major. Any chord that you can play on the first three strings, you can invert or you can go the other way with them. Um, the second way to invert chords is by moving them up the neck. So, for example, A major. Okay. And you're basically taking each chord tone. Uh, we have a root third and fifth. A, C sharp, and E. Okay, the fifth goes up to the root, the third goes up to the fifth, the root goes up to the third. So you just go up to the whatever the next chord tone is. And then the same thing here, root to third, fifth to root, third to fifth. So, and again, uh, you can do that on any string group, uh, any chord, you know, you can do it minor, whatever. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty cool.